Though much of the low country is still recovering from last October's flooding, Cypress Gardens in Berkeley County remains closed after the devastating damage there. But as News 2's Travis Rice reports, officials have plans to reopen this serene setting sooner than you might. Good evening. It's one of the prettiest places in South Carolina, but six months ago, Cypress Gardens was almost lost in that historic flooding. It's a place where time seems to stand still. It's just a remarkable place. But then the floods came and washed out the support system of the docks and the revenue stream. Is it hard to see it like this? It's difficult. It is difficult because you know that so many people enjoyed it. You knew so many people came to, to view the gardens, to ride the boats, to relive that scene from the notebook with their, their significant other out on the waterfront. The swamp now partially drained and the boats once in them on dry land. In every building, cords, cables and exposed frames show just how bad it got. Early estimates of the damage are six to ten million dollars. Horticulturist Susan Miller says Hugo is worse, but that doesn't make it much easier. We're just trying to work with what we have. Over at the Butterfly House, they're spraying away October's water load. Inside, a frustrated duck pecks at a crock for attention. What are you doing? The talking birds looking for visitors to talk to. Be fine. All the while, volunteers work anyway. to get the park ready again so paying customers can visit and maybe even see an alligator. No one would have expected this to happen, and we want to reassure the public this place is going to reopen and it's going to be better than it was before. And if all goes to plan with the funding and, of course, the cleanup, folks here at Cypress Gardens hope to have the nature sections of the park open by late summer. In Monk's Corner, Travis Rice, News 2. And if you'd like to help repair Cypress Gardens, the next day to volunteer, the next volunteer day is April 23rd.